Welcome back. We have an equation to solve here on axis. We have x to the power of 4 minus 4x four cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. We are going to see that uh, so we have some uh, symmetric uh, coefficients here that is going to help us solving this one. And uh, we are going first to divide everything by uh, x squared. So if I rewrite the, the equation here and um, I divide everything by uh, x squared, I will get uh, x squared minus 4x plus 6 minus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared is equal to 0. So I'm going to group uh, similar terms here. So I get um, x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 4 factoring x plus 1 over x and then plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. And uh, if we look at uh, x squared plus 1 over x squared, we know that x plus 1 over x, when we square that, we get x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. So it is x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2. So we note this 2 is the difference. So if we rewrite uh, that equation 1 down here, we can say if it is, a, it is equal to x plus 1 over x squared, now minus our 2, and then minus 4 factoring x plus 1 over x plus 6 is equal to uh, 0. Now we can designate x plus 1 over x. We can change the variable to a t. If I say t is equal to x plus 1 over x, I'm going to plug in the t's. So I get uh, t squared. This equation becomes t squared minus 2 minus 4 t plus 6 equals 0 and I may get t squared minus 4 t plus 4 is equal to 0. We know that t minus 2 squared is equal to t squared minus 4t plus 4. So t minus 2 squared is equal to 0, which has a solution of t is equal to 2. Okay. So if I go back to the value of t, we know that t is equal to x plus 1 over x, we get x plus 1 over x is equal to 2, and we try to solve that one, we get same denominator, we get x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x, otherwise x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, and um, we know that x minus 1 squared is equal equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. So we get x minus 1 squared is equal to 0, yielding x is equal to 1. So if we look at our equation, we make um, successive divisions. We see that x equal to 1 is actually the only solution. It's a quadruple solution. It, uh, it is so it is the only solution for this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.